Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. So I got a swarm call here. And I uh, this is about an hour from my house. I drove there and I've got a, a box sitting on the ground here. I'll show you what I'm doing and then uh, I'll explain what I'm I'm gonna do here. Okay, so here's the here's the swarm. I didn't bring my real filming equipment. All I got is my cell phone. But um, so it, it's been here. The homeowner says it's been here for for two days on the ground here like this um and i can look here in this in this big tree here behind me and i can actually see the, the parent where the parent colony was at um up high in the tree there there's a few bees buzzing in and out there but um evidently they've uh they swarmed in uh, onto this little bush here by the water spigot here and then they've just kind of haven't found a home yet so anyways i've set my box down here um and uh, I'm hoping to, I put that little stick there, hoping to get them to use that for a ladder to march in. It looks like they're starting to, um, to fan their, uh, to fan their pheromone glands there, their Nazanov, their lemongrass smell there. You can see those guys are starting to build it. And uh, maybe I'll just leave them alone here and we'll just watch them for a little bit. I was going to go ahead and scoop some up and put them in there but um we're just gonna we're just gonna leave them go and see what happens okay so we got a march started here they're starting to just head on in on their own we'll uh we'll give them some time and they'll just slowly move in you'll notice they're just migrating in there So I try and keep a box set up with drawn comb in it as a swarm, as a, not necessarily as a swarm trap, but as a, sw a swarm catcher. You know, it's a, it's what I call a swarm kit, and uh, so it's a bottom board a box with uh, drawn brood comb, an inner cover, and a telescoping cover, with a strap around it, and it's just pretty much ready to go. So I just grab it and drive wherever I need to 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 do exactly this, catch a swarm. If you look you can see that the marching from it's not it's not fast it's slowly picking up but they're going all the way from here and the bee traffic is headed through that to there and into the colony so I'll just keep you posted it's always remind me of people at a stadium after a football game or a baseball game I wonder how they all make it through that little door It just takes time. Traffic is really picking up this way. I'm thinking they're going to move right in. It'll just take some time. Okay, so just added a couple more sticks there to kind of act as little bridges for them to climb up from the ground. And seems to be working. I, I have a feeling a queen is in this mass of bees right in here. I haven't seen her yet, but it's just kind of the way the group is acting, so I'll keep a watch out for her. Okay, so I still haven't seen the queen, but, you know, we've moved along here. Here's that center pile. It's, it's almost completely moved over, but, but there's still a little patch of them hanging out over there. Um, I'll keep an eye on it, see what happens. They just not quite close enough to get the hint, I guess. I don't know. I could grab that rock and move it closer. I moved that one rock over or clod that they were on over over close and got most of the bees off of it. So there's a few still over there, and a couple here and then where there was in the middle. Most everybody's congregated around the entrance. I haven't seen the queen go in yet, but um, and and I'm still thinking that she's in the bottom of this pile right down here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my little ladder sticks and then uh, I'm going to scoot this hive back up six or eight inches and then I'm going to lay this down as a bridge underneath of that uh, and let everybody move forward and in um, see if that won't get them to go in there a little bit more uniformly okay well it takes two hands to do what I'm going to do so I'll bring you back when I have it set up 
So I moved them back. I uh, put a lot of bees in that were underneath. I swept them in there with my brush. I was able to scoop them off of the underneath side of the bottom board and lay them right in the entrance. But, so here's the what's left of the of the group, that, the swarm that needs to move in. And uh, of course I've just moved this. So I think now they're starting to get it figured out that the entrance to their new home has moved and there's the march. Well, that looks like about it. I'll give a few more minutes and then uh, we're going to call her good. Come back this evening and pick it up. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is i got to wait till you know, just before dark, all the bees go to bed. But it looks like they're all going to move in there good. I'm sure the queen went in at some point when I wasn't looking. That's usually the way it is. Um, and so I'll come, like I said, I'll come back right before dark and pick them up and uh, move them up to my... Uh, to my valley apiary where I keep usually one or two colonies and uh, it'll be a good place for them. Um, there's a lot of bloom going on down here in the Worm Valley and they'll be able to pick up the uh, star thistle bloom um, this summer and hopefully build up enough and make it through the winter. I'll leave them down here where it's I'll have a better chance over wintering too. So okay well um, uh, when I pick them up, I'll bring you back. It's uh, a little bit after 8 o'clock, and it's getting closer to sunset here, probably about another 15 minutes. Everybody's pretty much moved in. There's still a few buzzers around. I'm going to go ahead and use this pom-pom to plug the hole here. Get these at Arts and Crafts stores. They work about the best. And then uh, I got a piece of metal window screen here. And... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll screen them in here in a, just a couple of minutes. I'm going to give them I'm going to give them a few more to settle down. I think get as many of them in there as I can before we leave. So I got them loaded up in the pickup here. There's a uh, a couple of them still flying around, stuck on the outside of the screen. Half a dozen of them are over there on the ground, I guess. So. They'll have to either go back and parent colony or find a different place to stay. So, all right, I'm going to take these to the new apiary before it gets too dark. Okay, so I've got them moved up here to their new location, and they're pretty loud. So I'm not guessing they're going to be super happy when I open them up, but i got to do that before I take off. So here we go. First things first, I'm going to pull the puff ball. And then we'll pull the screen out and hey they're just fanning in there they're just hot okay all right well we're gonna leave them be okay so that's uh that's gonna be it for moving them there um i'm gonna come down tomorrow and uh and bring them uh a super to put on right away it's just about to get into the super hot season um this location here where i'm at is about two miles away from the hottest recorded temperature in the state and uh, so it can get really really hot down here in this canyon um and so i want to make certain that they've got lots of room if they need it and uh you know there's still some blooms going on around here they'll uh they'll get built up for for winter, I'm sure uh, that's going to be the goal. Um, no honey from these guys this uh, this summer. So, okay, well that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.